Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So since the rollout of 24H2 of Windows 11 earlier this month, the OS has not been without its issues as we have been talking about. And there have been numerous issues that have been reported, six of which are known issues that have been officially confirmed by Microsoft. And I posted yesterday that because of this, Microsoft was pausing 24H2 for more PCs due to these issues. And then I also posted yesterday that Western Digital had fixed the SSD blue screen of death issues that some users were experiencing with certain SSDs with a firmware update, update for those affected drives. And those videos will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now my reason for mentioning those videos is because there is another little issue that's also been um, reported on that is affecting some users, which hasn't been officially confirmed by Microsoft, but there are numerous reports that are pointing this out. So just to bring it to your attention and show you a fix and a workaround until a permanent fix is rolled out, hopefully by Microsoft sooner than later. Now what the problem is, which fortunately I'm not experiencing, what, but what the problem is, is that some users are noticing that the mouse pointer and cursor may disappear on the screen, mainly when interacting with a text field in Chromium-based web browsers like Chrome Edge Brave, just to mention some examples. Now, as mentioned, I'm not experiencing this issue, so I can't show you it firsthand, but what it is more about is that you can see here at the top, when I move out of that text field, there's my mouse, okay? Or if I move it here to the bottom, there's my mouse. You can see the mouse, and yeah, in the text field, you can actually see the cursor. Now, what is happening is yeah, in the text field, the cursor is actually disappearing. Now, I know that's a small cursor and you may not even see that clearly in the video, but nonetheless, that cursor is disappearing and you can't see it in the text field. So that's what the problem is. So if you are experiencing this issue, then just to show you a quick workaround until a fix is rolled out, as mentioned, hopefully sooner than later. So what you would do to fix this issue temporarily is you would head over to your settings after upgrading to version 24H2 of Windows 11. Head over to your Bluetooth and Devices page. And then what you're going to do on this page is you're going to scroll down to Mouse and then just click on Additional Settings. And this is going to open up the Legacy Mouse Pointers and Properties um, Control Panel uh, dialog and menu. And then here at the top, you'd click on Pointers. And what you're going to look for here under Customize is Text Select. So you'd click on that, select it. Then you click on Browse. And yeah, under Cursors, you scroll down until you find Beam underscore R. Okay, so it's all alphabetical. Here we go. Beam underscore R. You need that. Okay. Now, just a quick, let me just type that up in case you can't see that properly in the video. So what it'll be, it's Beam underscore R. So that's what you're looking for. Okay. So heading back to that. So once you've selected beam underscore R, you click open and you click apply and okay. And now when we head back to the text field, you'll see what it's done now. Once you complete the steps, the system will use the default pointer, which addresses the problem temporarily until an update becomes available to fix the problem permanently. So as mentioned, I wasn't experiencing this issue, but if you are, that's what will happen. And then if you'd like to put everything back and when that fix becomes available and maybe you just want to put the settings back to default, it's actually quite simple to do. So what we would do, we'd head back to the same settings, Bluetooth and devices, mouse pointer, um, mouse page, and then you look for additional mouse settings. Once again, you just reverse the steps, head over to pointers, Click on text select, and all you do is say use default, click apply, click OK, and that will pop up back to the default cursor. So that's just a quick workaround if you are experiencing that issue. And obviously, if a fix does roll out for that and Microsoft does acknowledge the issue, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.